Excuse me, how long is the wait for a table for two? I would never, ever serve you. Not in a million, billion years. It's a nice tux. I know. It belonged to my grandfather. He was buried in it, so... Family heirloom. So what's the deal? We gotta pay for our own drinks? That's lame. Come on, it'll be fun. And besides, I'm a roulette expert. Impossible. Roulette is not a game of skill. It is a game of chance. I could always kind of win at roulette. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How would you do that? Mind control. <laughs> you can't be serious. Are you serious? Ever since I was a little kid, like eight or nine, I could sort of control things with my mind. I don't believe you. Continue. It was just little things, you know? Like I could make something shake or I could make a marble fall off the counter, you know? Just little things. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know what? Uh, why don't you move that coat rack? Excuse me, everyone. Attention in the office, please. Jim is about to prove his telekinetic powers and he needs absolute silence. Go ahead. Okay, I'll try. David! Oh, Michael, who are we all set? Isn't our interview tomorrow? Yes. I just happened to be in the neighborhood. Thought I'd drop in, say hello. Just happened to be in Midtown Manhattan. Thought I'd catch a show. Middle of a work day? No. You know what? Since I'm here, let me ask you a few questions about the job. Okay. Um, how many people are you interviewing? We're only interviewing branch managers and some lower-level company people. Ah, well, good. Out of curiosity, are you interviewing anyone who has been here longer than I have or manages more people? I don't think so. Great. One more question. When you merged those branches, who did you put in charge? I believe we put you in charge. Ah, uh, great. No further questions. Okay, Michael. Okay. I am really looking forward to our interview. And I'm really looking forward to working with you. I have got it made in the shade. I know this company. The other branch managers are total morons. Hey, Pam, yeah, I forgot what day the interview was and I drove to New York accidentally. Be like three hours late. Hello, this is Dwight Schrute. Hello? Hello, this is Dwight. Hello? Hello? Yes, we do have that. Hold on one second. Jim, what are you doing? And how many would you like? Oh, uh, uh, hang that up right Absolutely. now. Absolutely, I can get that out to you immediately. This man is an imposter. Do not do business with him. This is not Dwight Schrute. Dwight left his cell phone on his desk. So, naturally, I paired it to my headset. Okay, fine. I'll just let it go to voicemail. Hello, this is Dwight. Hey, is this Dwight? Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness, you sound sexy. Oh, thank you. I've been working out. Whoa, 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 Pam, you? Pam, you are not talking to Dwight right now. You are talking to Jim. Dwight? No! Pam, I'm over here. I'm confused. Disconnect that right now. You give me your earpiece. Can't do that. Unsanitary. Ah! Okay, you know what? Fine. I will reprogram my phone to go to my office phone. Done. This is Dwight. Oh, and I forwarded his desk phone to mine. Oh, hello, Mutter. Good news. I've married. Tell Fatter. Such a nice woman. Dunder Mifflin, this is Aaron. He's not available right now. Uh-huh. Yes. Sure, I'll give him a message when he gets up. Gets back. Michael had chicken pot pie for lunch. Actually, let me rephrase that. Michael had an entire 
chicken pot pie for lunch. And let me be more specific. Michael ate an entire family-sized chicken pot pie for lunch, and then he promptly fell asleep. So we're all trying to be very quiet so as to not wake him up before 5 p.m., which actually should be in about... Ten minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and change the computer. Are you sure you can change his watch? I can do it. What do you need from me? Normally I don't condone leaving early, but I have an appointment with the horse doctor. How that horse became a doctor, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's just a regular doctor who shoots your horse in the head when its leg is broken. Like clockwork. <laughs> Geography joke. <laughs> oh, my, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's all go home. Come on. See you all to Molly. Hey. See you later, Michael. Yeah. 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 There is nothing wrong, nor will there ever be wrong, with any saber printers. Case closed. Michael Scott, as seen on TV. I saw you on the news and I want to pinch your tiny wiener. It's Packer. Oh, Pac-Man, I thought you were a girl. Apparently, there are allegations that saber printers can cause a fire. So they asked me to give a statement to the press. I'm like, what? All right, so I do it. It's on TV last night and it's in the paper today, and it's online. And then I call Froggy 98.7, their request line. I talked to the host about it on the air. It's like, come on, people, enough. Everybody, we are at DEF CON 5. I am officially the second most watched clip of the day on the WBRE news site. What's number one? Oh, that teacher who was wrongfully accused of being a pedophile. Now, we cannot let the pedophile win again. I would like you all to go to the website and watch my clip 11 times. So instead of working, you yes. want to... Okay. Yes. I know. Come on. He's a manager here. Oh, no, no. Get no, it up. There's absolutely nothing wrong there. That's what... There. There is Let's do it. Nothing wrong, nor will oh, there ever be wrong. did you see this report that the zoo got a baby otter? It's on the same site. Oh, it's kissing its mommy. Oh, Please. Oh, you have to see this. It's like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> really? A baby otter? Okay, um, count me in as who cares. It's not even that interesting a baby otter. It can't even stand up. It's trying to stand up. There he goes. It's beautiful. Morning at Dunder Mifflin, or as I like to call it, Great Bratton. Keep it running. Do I love being manager? I love my kids. I love real estate. I love ceramics. I love my job. I, I love wrestling. Find out what language this is. Okay, team building. On this side of the room, Stanley, Phyllis, Jim, Ted, Elroy. And on this side of the room, Pam, Meredith, Phyllis, Creed. He never called a meeting. Bo body, Bo body. What does the first B stand for? What are we doing? We're making acronyms. Okay, what does the first B stand for? Um, business. I like it. Business, good, Kevin. All right, the O. We need a new manager. Hello, my name's Oscar. I'm an accountant in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and I'm gay. And I'm here to tell you that, yes, it does get better. <laughs> when I was younger... What? What's he doing? Um, he's searching out younger gays. No, it's just a way to tell young people, no matter how hard it gets for them, there's a brighter future ahead. With you? 
no matter how hard it gets for you. Re Kelly, seriously, I... Just keep chatting. I'm just taking my makeup and your webcam. Do you not own a mirror? Webcams make me look the way I look in my fantasies. I know, right? What is it? You always look so good in those things. I'm throwing it on my mirrors. Okay, as you can see, I now have a cool job at a dynamic workplace. Being gay is a celebration of life. It's a simple... I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I just can't sit idly by and have the gay youth of America misled by some reductionist pep talk. Sexuality is a spectrum. It's a paradox to think of but, any sexual activity as normal. Well, it gets better, but it also gets vastly more complicated. Hey, Robert. <laughs> That guy? He looks just like you. Oh, oh damn it! Damn it! Oh, God! You okay, Robert? Fine. Put some ice on it. In any case, it gets better. Maybe, maybe not much better, but better. The documentary series finished airing ages ago. Why is PBS sending another crew? We're getting bonus footage for the DVD. <sighs> Nobody buys DVDs anymore. It'll be a pledge gift. PBS, the propaganda wing of Bill and Melinda Gates and viewers like you. In the past year, I have consolidated the entire Scranton paper market. We regained the white pages, the school district, Lackawanna County, we supply them all. I'm getting married tomorrow afternoon, and in the morning there's a mini reunion, a kind of uh, where are they now panel at a local theater. It'll be nice to see everyone again. I haven't seen Kevin since we let him go. Today marks several important milestones. Stanley, as you know, is retiring. <laughs> ah, I've been looking forward to this day since I was 18 years old. Speak! Uh, no. And our next and most thickly frosted cake is for... Kevin. Yes. <laughs> Wait, why? Go ahead and just read the frosting. Get out? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It's a colloquial way of saying you're fired, Kevin, which you are. What? Uh, Dwight, you can't do that. The cake is spoken, Pam. Sorry. <laughs> what? Well, if anyone here can make a case for Kevin staying, based on his merit, I'm good. Well, Toby will stop it. Anytime anyone's ever been fired, Toby's blocked it. So. Yeah, yeah, I don't think. Uh, Toby, Toby, wait, wait, hold that thought. Here's your cake. Bye bye, Toby. <laughs> At least I got chocolate. 